Hey guys, so today I wanted to open up a discussion about abusive relationships and both slightly touched on this topic in one of my past videos and I asked you guys if you'd be interested in seeing a follow-up video and lots of you were very interested so I decided I'd be doing that today. I just want to start off by saying that this is 100% just my opinion. I know lots of you probably have different opinions. You may agree with me, you may not and that's completely okay um, and I want to hear all of your opinions so even if you don't agree with me I'd love to hear your comment below about what you think and just try to keep it nice. You know, I'm going to be nice so please be nice to me. Um, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just putting out my opinion to see what you guys think. So yeah, I don't mean to offend anybody by this video or make anybody upset or anything like that, okay? So <laughs> I initially got the idea to open up this discussion when I mentioned the book After by Anna Todd in one of my past videos and I got a couple comments saying, Laura, how can you read After? It's like you're supporting abusive relationships. And I personally don't believe that to be true. I don't think that me reading a book that has characters in it, flawed characters, abusive characters, means that I'm like for abusive relationships. That's crazy. Like you could never say that. That's insane. Okay. I obviously don't support abusive relationships at all. If you or somebody you know is in an abusive relationship, they need to get out. They need to get help. They need to resolve that because it's not okay at all. But I do think it's okay to read books that have characters that are abusive. I think anybody that has read after can, you know, recognize that it's an abusive relationship. Even in something like Fifty Shades of Grey, you can see that it's almost borderline abusive. Christian has very abusive tendencies towards I also would just like to point out that both of the relationships in these books are consensual. And especially in Fifty Shades of Grey when people say things like, Oh my god, he hits her, that's terrible, that's abusive. I mean, it's a consensual BDSM relationship, so I guess... It's not really abusive. It can be abusive. He does cross the line, but for the most part, it's consensual. The thing I just want to point out also is that these are like romantic relationships that involve abuse. Something like this book right here. This is Reason to Breathe by Rebecca Donovan, and this follows a girl that is physically abused by her family, like her mother and father, stepmother, father, I think, and she's physically hit and stuff like that, so that's really bad. But I don't think anybody's ever given me like crap for reading this book. I don't think anybody ever has given anybody crap for reading books that have like family abuse, but when it's a relationship somehow people's opinions change. I think that you can read these books and accept them for what they are, realizing that it's an abusive relationship. You don't ever want to be in Tessa's place. Our main book. character in this book, Harden, I know not all of you have probably read this book, but for those of you that do, Harden starts off as this very angry boy. He has lots of issues. Same with Christian. He's got lots of issues. So the their background it kind of shows that that's why they're abusive. But the characters progress over both of the series and they kind of change and they're not as abusive at the end. I think it's all just involved in character development. They're both very angry and mad at the world, causing them to be abusive. So it's realistic. It makes sense. Abusive relationships happen and I think authors have a right to writing about them and I think that we have a right to read about them. I don't think I'm ever going to be saying, I, oh my god, I wish that I was in Tessa's place in the first book of After because no, that's crazy. But you do tend to like the characters anyway because they do grow up and they do progress as characters and they get better and they're not abusive in the end. One of my favorite books, Beautiful Disaster, um, by Jamie McGuire. Lots of people say the main guy, Travis, is abusive. He's just kind of manipulating, people would say, or he's abusive towards her, verbally abusive again, he's never hit her. But I don't really believe that to be true. I think Travis, you know, he's an angry guy, he's never had a girlfriend, and it's all a learning experience for him. He lashes out, he's angry, blah blah blah, but I mean, he gets better by the end. And I think that's what you have to take it for these books, that they're just characters that are flawed, and there's characters that are flawed in lots of different ways, but abusive relationships do happen, and they do happen in books, and I think it's totally fine to read about them. I don't think it's saying we're promoting it. That's that's crazy. That's like saying that because I read a book about Nazi Germany that I'm supporting Hitler. No, that's insane. That's crazy. I just like reading them. I think it's interesting to open your eyes to things that are actually happening and you know just because it's fiction doesn't mean that it shouldn't be written about you know I'm really sorry if this video is kind of all over the place I'm just trying to get my thoughts out I know it's probably a jumbled mess and I know I might not have made perfect sense but I hope you guys get a gist of what I'm trying to say I think that reading about abusive relationships in books romantic relationships is totally fine as long as you take them for what they are I would love to hear all of your thoughts on this topic in the comments below again please be nice I I tried to be as nice as possible when expressing my opinion so really grateful if you guys could just please be nice down there don't argue with other people either if they have a different opinion than you I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm really excited to hear all of your thoughts on the topic Topic. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys all very, very soon. Bye! From a little city with expensive tanks Where the cars don't run till the engine breaks Wasn't spending pennies on a mess of
things, but invested in. Mad- 